welcome back to another video this really popped when i saw it that to me is a monster increase again this book got hot this book is ready to go higher so let's jump right into it we are back today with another statue review from diamond select toys without further ado let's get into the review What is going on YouTube? This is Lawrence over at Mighty Comics and Collectibles and today we have a very special video. Something a little bit different. You guys know what the title says. I'm adding something to my collection. That's right. So before we get into it and I share with you what I have, I want to remind you guys as always, if you're not currently a sub of the channel, you're definitely missing out. I put out a lot of great content and I do think you'll enjoy it. So hit that sub button. For me, do me a favor, smash the like button for me because it does help the channel out. We're trying to get to 10,000 subs by the end of the year. And I'm going to tell you something today. I'm going to reveal a little bit of information that we're going to do something really spectacular for 10,000. I can't 100% guarantee it yet, but it is coming and it's going to be something really, really special. So with that said, uh, today's not really an unboxing. It's something that a friend of mine shared with me and I wanted to share it with you guys here on the channel. It is something that is very important to me. This person is an incredible artist. Uh, you know he's done my Amazing Spider-Man number 129. He's done my Incredible Hulk number one. And more recently, you guys saw he did an Amazing Fantasy 15. I uh, have that print. We gave it away to 7,000 subs. We're also going to give it away probably again sometime here in the near future to either subs or special giveaways, something like that, because I think I have two more copies of that print. But with that said, he wanted to do something special. Now, he had retired from the original art game. He wasn't doing this anymore. He had a different job that he was concentrating on, but he contacted me maybe about a couple of months ago and said, you know, my channel really inspired him. He wanted to get back into doing this. Uh, he had the itch to kind of draw something. So I said, hey, you know, I really love something related to Spider-Man because you guys know I'm a huge John Romita Sr. fan. I'm a huge Spidey fan. And I didn't have one of these, you know, prints or artworks in my collection that was from John Romita Sr. So I had mentioned a couple of books to him and he said, you know what? I really love to do this one. And we have it here today. He sent it to me and I wanna show you guys what it is. But before we get into it, I wanna say something to you guys. Why do we collect what we collect? You guys know I collect comic books, I collect toys, I collect sneakers. It is the history about these items which is important. A lot of people out there, they go by grades, they go out and buy 9.8s, they try to get the highest grade possible on certain things. For me, I'm the exact opposite. I buy stuff because it meant something to me at a certain time. Whether the artwork inspired you at some point or the comic book itself was something that you grew up with reading and you got back into it as an adult or the toys themselves you played with as a kid, you wanted them back as an adult because you remembered a simpler time in your life. That's me, that's exactly why I do these things. It's just a bringing me back to my childhood, bringing me back to things that I never had, like arcade games in my house, right? I'm a 46 year old guy and I have arcade games in my house. It's something I always wanted as a kid. So with that said, not everything is about grades, not everything is about you know condition. I gladly own any book that I have in my collection in a 0.5 complete just for the meaning of the actual books. And that's what this artwork means to me. So before I get in to show you the actual pieces themselves, I wanted to show you something really special. So my boy who did this, he actually lives in Hawaii, so he's on the other side of the country, but he does a lot of work for our country and he travels around the world. So this comic book art has been everywhere. And he's actually sent this mailer in to me and you can see where it's actually been. It's been from Hawaii to Japan, to Guam, to Saipan, all the way to New Jersey. Now, another thing is he sent this priority mail and it literally took, I think, almost three weeks to get here because of course the post office lost it. It would have been a huge travesty if this thing never showed up, but it did and I'm happy to show it to you guys. So here it is, my next original art piece. It is Amazing Spider-Man number 41, this classic John Romita artwork, the first appearance of the Punisher. Now I'm gonna step in a little bit to show you guys, and I might actually just throw it up on the screen so you could see it better. This thing is absolutely amazing, right? From everything to the trade dress above to Spider-Man down below, this thing is absolutely spectacular. I'm actually gonna show you a side-by-side -side comparison, comparing his artwork to the original from John Romita Sr. You see, as it says in the original, to where his says, best wishes to Lawrence, Spider-Man. I think that was totally awesome and such a great touch that he did for me personally. Like I said, he is retired. He's not doing these anymore, but um, the amount of work that goes into these things to be 
you know, penciled and then inked done by perfection, trying to be exactly like the original artwork was done way back in the 1960s. It's just absolutely remarkable. He's one of the best artists that have been around. He takes pride in his work. So to me, having this in the collection means a lot to me. I have a space already picked out in my office for it. I appreciate original art. And of course, I appreciate all the work that went into these things back in the 1960s from these artists. And for somebody to go ahead and recreate this for me is just an absolute treat. So not only that, this guy is such an incredible human being that he did something else for me. Now we had talked about the amazing Spider-Man 41 and we had talked about him doing that. And he showed me pictures along the way of how it was coming and how he did stuff, but he decided that he wanted to do something special as well for me uh, regarding another piece of artwork. And he didn't really let the cat out of the bag until it was almost done. And it's freaking spectacular. So we're gonna go ahead and show you that here as well today. Um, I have it right here. So here it is. It is absolutely incredible. It is a Superman one. Now, you don't really see a lot of recreations of this artwork, but this one is extremely special only because check this out, guys. The paper that he used to do this was actually from the 1940s, right? Just when this book came out, I think it came out in 1939, if my memory serves me correct, but I'm gonna throw it up on the screen so you guys, you can guys see a, a really close up picture of this thing, but it is absolutely, remarkable so again jason i want to thank you for doing this these two pieces are absolutely beautiful but again i remind you guys this why do we collect don't get caught up in the hype about grades don't get caught up in the prices that we buy stuff for as well if you want a book or if you want a piece of art or if you want a toy or if you want any type of collectible in your collection you have to figure out what that item is worth to you so when we talk about collectible items we talk a lot about price we talk a lot about gpa or these other pricing platforms but i'm going to say to you here right now you decide what something is worth for you if you want it in your collection don't let anybody else tell you what you should or should be paying that goes for me included, right? I do a lot of price videos on this channel, on eBay stuff, and I do have another eBay video coming out soon. But if you want something, decide if it's worth it for you to go out and spend your hard earned money on buying it. Me personally, I wanted to surround myself with stuff that I couldn't get when I was a kid that meant something to me because it had history, not just for myself in my life, but for other people in my life. Whenever I go out and buy something, I have to know how easy it's going to be for me to go ahead and sell that item. I don't wanna tie up so much money to the point where I can't go out and sell all my stuff easily. Many people, they own so many things that it's going to be hard for them or their family to go ahead and get rid of stuff as they get older. So I just want you to keep that in the back of your mind because you've seen me dwindle down my collection just for the fact I don't wanna be burdened selling all this stuff later on when I get older. But we're here for this amazing original art and this is really something that I wanted in my collection. Again, Jason, thank you so much for doing this for me, man. It has been such a blast seeing you keep me updated on everything that you were doing regarding this artwork. And of course, we both got a little nervous when the post office kind of lost it because I know how much work and effort you put into this thing. But he is an amazing artist. I am extremely lucky to have him as a friend and for have him do this for me. And I wanna make an announcement, okay? He said to me, when we get to 10,000 subs, he has something massive in mind for that 10,000 sub giveaway. I hope he can still do it when we get there, but either way, we may be doing something spectacular for that 10,000 sub giveaway. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but it has something to do with his original art, and I'll leave it at that. So again, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Leave my advice when it comes to collecting, guys. I really think it will help you going forward. With that said, this is Lawrence over at Mighty Commons Collectible saying thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon.